to be our little adventure. Uh, you all right there? Who are you? Oh, it's okay, ma'am. I don't mean you no harm. <laughs> well, it makes no difference now if... if an outlaw or a wild animal doesn't get me starvation, well... We came out here from the city in search of a different life. Something true, something real. All this squandering and indulgence, we wanted to strip it away, to find something authentic. <laughs> what a pair of fools. Is there a... Train station or a town I can take you to? No, I can't give up now. He wouldn't want that. I, I can't have it. I'm gonna do this for you, Cal. Well, I'll, um, I'll leave you to it. Is there anything left for you to eat? Nothing. No, we didn't know the first thing about hunting. We couldn't even catch a darn mouse. If you need any poisonous berries, though, I'm a natural at finding those. Well... You ain't gonna last much longer out here if you don't know how to hunt. Come on. I'll show you. All right. But you better not try any funny business. You know, I may be weak, but I still know how to stand up for myself. Oh, I don't doubt it. Come on. Tell me, you ever skin an animal before? No, but then again, I haven't caught much of anything either. Well, you'll need to know how to do both if you're gonna survive out here. I am all too aware. So where should we head for? Uh, let's try in the trees down there, near the river. What happened to your husband, if you don't mind me asking? A bear got him. It was horrifying. He survived, but only for a couple of days. I... I buried him a week ago. Uh, I'm sorry. This was really his dream more than mine. I'd have hopped the next train back to Chicago if he'd said the word. But now... I, I don't know, it's hard to explain. I have to do this. Uh, I understand. Yes. This is a good spot. What are we looking for? Well, I... I think we should start with something small, don't you? I kill it, you skin it. Sound fair? Skin it? But I, I, I don't even have a knife with me. Well, don't worry, you won't need one. Now, take a look around for any movement. I, I don't see anything. Shh, just keep your eyes peeled. Stay quiet and still watch me. Oh no, it's hopping away. Quick, get him! He's the hey. fast one. I'm watching. Shouldn't you shoot? 
Okay then, go on. Time to get your hands dirty. How do I... I mean... What do I do? Just hold the legs tight and pull the skin away quickly. Should come right off. Oh my! It worked. That is all there is to it. You did good. I think I've seen enough blood for one day. Do you mind if we head back now? Sure. I'll walk you back. You did good. That should keep you fed for a few days. Oh, yes. At least. Thank you so much. I mean, this really ain't such a bad spot. You got a good water source. It's remote, but... You can survive here, all right. I have no doubt that one can survive here. Whether Charlotte Balfour can is a different matter entirely. You've probably lived your whole life in the outdoors. Oh, a lot of it, that's for sure. I'd barely left the city before coming here. Cal spent his summers growing up at his grandparents' lodge in Maine, but I get the impression they did more punting than hunting. Right. Lord. No, we're done for now. Wolves, stay back. It's to smell the dead rabbit. What are we going to do? Oh, thank God. <laughs> you see, if, if, if you hadn't been here, I, I'd be dead. You got a rifle? Yes. Well, my my husband's. I suggest you learn how to use it. Now, come on, let's get you home. Since we got here, it feels like every step forward has come with a hundred steps back. People always talk about the simplicity of country life, but there's nothing simple about any of this. Uh. I guess we only know what we know. Oh, please. I'm sure it wouldn't take you too long to adjust to a life of privilege and indolence in the big city. I don't know about that. It sounds awful. Oh, it is. A truly empty and boring existence. But an undeniably easy one. I still can't believe he's gone. So, it's Chicago you came from? That's right. Have you been? Yeah, I've passed through a couple times. Business or pleasure? Business, you could say. Banking, mostly. Oh, really? Cal was in banking, too. Uh, I doubt we crossed paths. I was more on the withdrawal side. Oh, right. <laughs> You're teasing me. Yeah, something like that. Thank you. That was the first time anyone's done anything nice for us. For me, since we got here. Well, nature provides, but she sure don't always make it easy. That she doesn't. I'd invite you in, but I'm dead on my feet, if you'll forgive the pun. <laughs> Please do call again sometime, though. A good rest, and hopefully I'll be a new woman. You take care, ma'am. Oh, hey 
there. How you feeling, ma'am? Much better than I've felt in a long time. I, if we hadn't caught that rabbit, I don't think I'd have made it another day. Well, you look better. Better and determined, thanks to you. And if I'm gonna learn to hunt, I figured it was time I learned how to use Cal's gun properly. Well, how's that working out for you? Well, let's just say my prey is looking decidedly unscathed. <laughs> but the end of labor is to gain leisure. Is that not what Aristotle said? Well, I, I don't know much about Aristotle, but um, well, I know a thing or two about shooting a gun. Look, you gotta hold steady and firm. Hmm? You just focus. Breathe slowly, and always pull the trigger on empty lungs. Whew. Here, I'll show you. Okay, calm and steady. Don't snatch at the trigger. You make it look so easy. All right, you try now. Remember to breathe. Wait to breathe out. Wait to breathe out. Ah, would you look at that? I haven't hit one that close all day. <laughs> Not bad. Focus on the inhale. Shoot on the exhale. My turn. I'll shoot a few more this time. That wretched rat is back. Over there, you see? It's been a thorn on my side ever since we moved here. Kill it, please. I just got away. I told you it was fast. Anyway, my turn. Come on, come on. I say thank you but I still have some of the rabbit left that I salted up would you join me for a meal it's the least I can do Take a seat at the table. Food is just about done. Oh. <laughs> well, it's, it's good and hot. I hope you enjoy it. You helped me to catch it, after all. <laughs> bon appetit. Huh? Please enjoy. And thank you again for everything. I really am grateful. Uh, it was nothing. You're a good man. Oh, you don't really know me. I know enough. There's always more to find in ourselves. You helped me to see that. My husband, Cal, was such an optimist. I found that to be very contagious. But there's a fine line between optimism and naivete. And we were both born with a silver spoon. Banquets, butlers, valets. <coughs> Sounds terrible. It was just so many people, so many things. I was lost in it. I was crushed by it. My father was very overbearing. Then we came out here, and I got crushed by this. You know, I pictured myself picking fresh vegetables, sipping homemade wine, writing a great novel. But I turned out to be a far more pathetic anti-heroine than any I could ever pen. Oh, well. <clears throat> I reckon you're gonna be just fine. 
Are you all right? Can I get you some water? No, I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I just, um... <coughs> yeah, thank you for this. I think it's, it's best if I, if I make... <coughs> Stay right there. It's, it's gonna be okay. My dear Arthur, I have gone out hunting. Not a phrase I thought any pen of mine would ever ink, but nonetheless one I am very proud to finally be able to write. I am so very grateful to you for all the help and encouragement you've given me. There is some money in a box on the nightstand. Please take it. I have far more than I need back in the city, and I'd like you to have it. Please take care, and remain true to the man I know you are. My, my. I was wondering when I was going to see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh, no, I didn't mean it. No, I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh, you did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Uh, I'm still standing, which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am, you have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Please, go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind. Charlotte, it was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well. Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge, we all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in San Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? You can, you could give something to Jack. It's that or 
Well, I don't see no way out of this. But what about loyalty? Be loyal to what matters. What are you gonna do? <laughs> I'll be okay, but do it for me. It would make me feel good, if that makes any sense. A little, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on his nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> Well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Let's ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Sure, let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos, I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge, for Christ's sake. All right, stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there, you lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. <clears throat> got it? Ready when you are. That's the spot. Lower it from there. Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not some... Okay, good. Grab the other one. <clears throat> I'm at the bottom of the ladder, here to your left. Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I see you up there. Better work. Shit. I think I hear something coming on there. Get up here, quick! Yeah, I'm on my way! Faster, buddy, come on! Shit! Arthur! A train! Come on, quick! Pump this stupid thing! As hard as you can! Let's go, let's go! Just get to the end of the bridge and jump! Faster! Get ready to jump! It's right on! No problem. 
That just ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. This old dust got all the smoke he wants. Let's hope so. You really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It was all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here, risking our necks and for what, exactly? For an idea that don't work no more. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You got a family. You need cash. You need to start building a life for yourself. Me? I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me, and we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I'm seeing things a lot more clearly now. I wish things were different. But it weren't us who changed. Yeah! <coughs> 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 Mr. Morgan! Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe? Of course. Chief's gone out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. Thought we were through with all this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? 
Uh, to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. M Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. So, this Colonel Favors, he you knows you're up here helping these people? Yes, and no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation, maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for it. You. you don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We cannot afford more conflict, especially if the Eagle Fly is now imprisoned at Fort Wallace. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rain's Ball and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the back seat. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know, Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right, this is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here. Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. Now the wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean. Understand me? Don't worry. I'm as clean as they come. Well, all I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. Yeah. Whoa.
What? Yeah. Yeah. Now, come on. Captain Monroe, I got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. You okay, boy? Okay, then. It's in Whoa. me. They're in me. Yeah, you're not well, friend. Uh, Butch's Crick. Butch's Crick. Uh, where? Uh, Butch's Crick. Is that where you're from? Butch's Crick. You want me to take you back, or...? They're in uh, me. Uh, well, come on, let me get you home. Butchers, Crick. some distress. <laughs> yeah, he uh, seems calmer now. I found him out in the woods. Well, Lemuel, sweet Lemuel, such a nice man, such a good man. Come here, no, come on, get up here, up here. Since the troubles began, he just he's not the same. It's in me. Why is he looking at me funny? Uh, no, he, he's not well. It's, it's, it's the darkness. It, he said it's the darkness. Who says it's the darkness? Well, the villagers. 
Well, thank you, sir. I thank, thank you for lim- Please, it, please, sir. Ah. Uh, them heels are not well, sir. Uh, you got yeah. anything for me? Oh, yeah. Of course, sir. Love and friendship in the darkness. What else are there? Obadiah Hinton, that's me. Yeah. Love and friendship. Friendship and love. We're not a rich village, sir. But with love, rich. We thank you. Okay. Come on now, boy. Gone, sir. Be gone. Not, not, not because we cares not. No, no, but because we cares. What are you talking the about? Demons have us by the throat, sir. It's the darkness. The darkness. It's, it's everywhere. That he was right. What are you talking about? They come in darkness. Help. They're coming. Inside, keep your door shut. <laughs> Yourselves home. No, no, no. He said, he said they would come in many forms. <laughs> and, he, and he said his protection would come in many, many forms. forms. What are you talking about? It's just sick dogs. Uh, hydrophobia or some other poison. He said we were not to doubt him. No. Get your people home, mister. Then get yourself a gun and kill any sick animals you see. Life will be just the fine. Darkness has come for us. <laughs> yeah, he was right. Who was right? I was. I shall save them. And who are you? There will be no more four-legged demons. The curse shall change. The curse has changed. What curse? These poor people. I will save you. <laughs> I just saved him, and it weren't no curse. It's just sick dog. Dark charms possess the woods. I told you. Oh, he, he, did. he told me. He did. He, he told me. I found one. Mm. That don't touch. He it. found the curse. Found it. So the woods are full of these. While they remain, the curse will remain. Oh. Yet the woods are also full of demons. I will find a way. Oh, have I lied to you thus? 
He never lied to me. Mm -hmm. Come, Obadiah. Feed me. So, you're saying if someone destroys those charms, the curse is lifted? The woods are full of demons. And the demons protect the charms. And the charms protect the demons. It's impossible. Oh, I can see that. It's impossible. Yeah, there ain't no demons. Don't disturb the woods. I told you. He would come, and he would help, and he would laugh. Well, yeah, you, you told us. Remember me? I helped with those dogs. 
I've been seeing about this curse of yours. Welcome, brother. It's a dark omen. Those charms out in the woods, they all been broken. All of them? So I guess that's it for your suffering. Ah, it's a miracle. We're saved. The darkness lifted. Not saved. Huh? Cursed. Huh? He broke the charms. And the spirits are set loose. We're doomed then? Hold on. You said the charms was protected the curse. I said it was a dark omen. I said he had the demon's tongue. Now I, I, I need I need some light here now. I, yeah, I don't know what to think. Hey, look. Yeah. I think something's going on in this holler. It ain't a curse. And whatever else it ain't, this fella don't want you to know. Liar! I told you he would lie. Dissemble. Something's up. And this one wouldn't be so quick with ideas he didn't have some clue of it. I have the gift. My ancestor. I got a gift right here. I'm going to commune with the spirit. Dark. Dark omens. Dark spirit. What is he had? He always spoke truthful to us. There is a dig on the other side of the hill there. There was a dig anyway. It's closed now. He always said something about not going over there. Well, maybe I'll take a look at that dig. See if I can see something. Uh, all right. Yep. This is a dig.
cursed, all right. Yeah. Who's there? I see you over there. The game's up. There's poison in this mine. Yep. I told you I would save you. Yes. Said yes. I would lead you out of the darkness. Yes, show us the light. I shall. I shall. But first, you have to mark your signs on this paper. It's a powerful magic that will protect you on your journey. Uh, I, I, I hereby will release, will absolve, and, and, and indemnify the aforementioned Roanoke Fuel Company. Stop reading. Hmm? You didn't tell me you could read? What kind of trick you pulling now? Oh, you're back. We thought the curse had got you. Nope, but he nearly did. Don't you go nowhere. I was down that old dig, and I found this leaking all the way into the lake. You've been poisoned. No, no, no. We, we, we were warned not to heed what you That's say. Right. Well, let him tell you then. What's this? It's nothing. Nothing? Oh, then you won't mind taking oh, a drink. Hey, no. hey, hey, hey! No, hey, please! Hey! No! No! Oh. no. no. Oh. Oh, you've killed me. I'm poisoned. Poison now, is it? Uh, uh, oh. oh, the dig. All he found was arsenic and lead. I dug down into the cave system and spread. I was meant to uh, get you all to go. Uh, now you heard it. It's taken me. Uh, oh, oh, dear. Dear God. There's no arguing. It's clear as day. We're cursed. <laughs> cursed? What are you talking about? Powerful forces have taken on this town. It ain't oh, spirits. Yes. It's a mining company. No, it is spirits. Spirits taken through a mining company. Brothers and sisters, 
We got some praying to do. Yes. Yes. Don't pray. Do something. You'll die. Or you worse. Just go. It's our curse. It's ours to deal with. Now the medicine man left some money. They ain't just take it if you want it. <laughs>